Oh, what you got? Oh, you think you got suit? Oh, you think you Dino? You can't shake me, man. You can't shake me. What? You gonna shake me? Come on, I'm strong. I'm strong now. I'm strong. What you? Who's the man? Who is the man? Who is the man? Calm your nerves. Calm your nerves. Calm your nerves. That's the first basket. We got a whole lot of game to go. Secret organization. Saving the world one mission at a time. At least that's who I play on TV. In real life, I'm Jet Jackson. Being a TV star is cool, but being a regular kid is even better. So I had the show moved back to my hometown, Willstead, North Carolina. Now I can hang with my friends, which is great. And the best part of all, I get to spend a lot more time with my family. Hey, I'm just trying to live my life as a normal kid. But some people still see me as the famous Jet Jackson. Woo! No! Yes! Yes! Who's the man, Nana? Who's the man? I know the man better stop dancing around in my kitchen, getting dirt all over my floor. What happened? Did you win the lottery or something? Better, better. I finally beat Dad. Yes! You beat your daddy? Yes! Woo! You're the man. Yeah, I gotta go shower for school. Hey, man! <laughs> Ooh, what a workout. Heard about it. I also heard that Jet finally gave you a whooping. <laughs> There's no whooping. It was one point. Anyway, he was just lucky. He hardly missed a shot. <laughs> you sound just like your daddy. I remember the first time you beat him in a foot race. He said that you were just lucky. Blamed it on him not getting a good start. You never lost to him again. Yeah, I remember that, but this is different. My daddy was getting old. He just turned 40. How old are you, Wood? 39. And 11 months. Boys are supposed to grow up and best their daddies. It's just a natural order of things. I try not to take it so personally. Who, me? <laughs> I'm proud of Jet. <laughs> what? I am. Mission Omega Matrix headquarters. Come in, Northern Sector. Are you sure? Parameters breached. Activate global defense screen. Maximize microcommunications field. <laughs> Deploy all agents. Counterattack. They must be stopped. What? Come in, Northern Sector. Come in, Northern Sector. Our front line is down. Look, tell them that I'm coming in myself. Where exactly are you going in to? Well, I was, I was just checking the, um, uh, well, I, it was a simulation exercise of mm. sorts. It's, well, I gotta have something to save. <laughs> gotta run, we'll chat later. Silverstone, I've been called to the field. Perhaps you do me a favor and fill in for me for the day. I'm oh, no biggie, I've done it before. This time, my young friend, you'll be responsible for all global operations. Well, it's only one globe. Do not take this assignment lightly, Silverstone. This is the heart of Mission Omega Matrix. I'm counting on you. Don't worry, it's all under control. Yes. 
So you were 20 feet out. <laughs> you should have seen it. It was nothing but that dog. <laughs> it was sweet. Oh, man, the dad went down. Yeah, I got to admit, it felt really good. You know, that's the first time I beat him at, well, at anything. He was always, like, invincible. Strongest man in the world. It actually uh, feels kind of weird beating him. Hey, Dad. <laughs> hey, Sheriff Jackson. Well, so you boys out here thought I'd come see if I could buy anyone a hot dog? <laughs> or maybe you're too busy talking about what a hot dog he was this morning. <laughs> hey, yeah, I got a right to brag, you know. Oh, just don't get too cocky now. I might be turning 40 real soon, but I am far from being over the hill. In fact, what do you say to a game of uh, tennis tonight? Tennis? Sure. Hey, maybe I'm on a roll. Or maybe you're not. Tonight. Tonight. So let me get this straight. You're auctioning off men of Wilstead to raise money for the police fund? Not just men. You guys, too. What is that supposed to mean? What is that supposed to mean? Well, the young ladies of Wilstead deserve a little eye candy, too, right? <laughs> Besides, your mom's in charge of it, and she asked me to help her out. Well, it is for a charity, so uh, count me in. Me too. I've never been purchased before. Oh, Mr. Dupree, are you in too? Well, Kayla, I'm surprised you would even ask me. Reducing the men of Willstead to mere items waiting to be bought like sides of prime grade beef. Of course I'll do it. <laughs> Great. You ready to stretch your stuff, guys? Wood, I am the mayor. I'm not supposed to be getting a parking ticket from my own sheriff. Do something about this, huh? Well, it says here today is the last day to pay the fine. So how about tomorrow I uh, arrest you? That's thirty-five dollars. Do you know? Just the man I've been looking for. Well, looks good, Jules. Yes, yeah, very eye-catching. Thank you. But it's not going to do us any good if we don't get enough men to auction off. Don't look at me. I'm a politician. I cannot be bought. Mayor, did you know that women make up 63% of Willstead's voting population? 63%, you say? Mm -hmm. Well, if there's a charity, good cause, count me in. <laughs> but uh, I must go, Jules. I have to go to the courthouse to uh, pay a fine. And what about you? <laughs> what about me? The charity auction. Can I count on you? Oh, you don't need me, Jules. I'm sure the women of Willstead want younger men to bid on. Wood Jackson, this isn't like you. Is there something you need to talk about? There's nothing to talk about, Jules. The fact is, I'm getting Oh. <laughs> is this all about that silly basketball game you lost to Jet? No. Because after I lost that silly game of basketball to Jet, I lost a silly game of tennis, too. Hey, Ma! Mm. Did I tell you about how I taxed him in tennis last night? Yeah, I think I mentioned it. I, I gotta get going. I forgot something. Gotta run. What's going on with him? Your dad's just having a bad day. Don't take it personal. Hey, Dad. Hey, Jet. I, uh, thought you had to work today. Late call. You working today? A little later. First to 11, you're out. You're out. I'm not the one who needs the help. Oh, really? Because, you know, if I remember correctly, I didn't need no help last time. But you know I had to prove you wrong again. Uh, uh. One nothing. Ah. Two nothing. What? What? Big luck, man. Whew. 
really taking it to me, Dad. That's because you're letting me win. What? Dad, where you going, man? There's still one point left. The game's not over yet. The game is over. Never do that to me again. Clear? does all day. I'm sure I just... Oh, boy. This is Mission Omega Matrix Headquarters. I need DEFCON Units 4, 5, and 8 in Sector 7, Pronto. I need air support decontamination crews on standby. What? Yes, 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 I know. Just hold on out there. Support is on its way. Mission Omega Matrix, go. Artemis, good, good, and, and you? Problem? No, no, no. Everything here is. Fine. Whoa. Well, someone doesn't look happy. Ah, oh, man, no, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, just some parent stuff, you know. Oh, I'm just gonna slide on up here, compadre, because you look like you could use a friend now. Talk to the cub man. It's my dad. Yeah, he's getting all weirded out because I finally beat him in basketball. You know, it's strange. I, I spent my whole life trying to beat him at something, you know, anything. And now that I have, it doesn't feel that great. Well, it's the circle of life, dude. I mean, yeah, I know that, but... He's got this whole competitive thing going, and it's just not a lot of fun. Oh, and you don't have this uh, competitive thing on? No. Wait, no, I mean, not as much as he does. I mean, look, I played him again. I tried to let him win. I let him block some shots, let him steal the ball. I even missed my patented reverse layup. I wanted him to win so he'd feel better. OK, time out. Let's call this thing for what it really is and take some responsibility, OK? You wanted him to win so that you would feel better. Me? Yeah. No, dude, it feels bad when you and Sheriff Dad don't get along. It's nothing to be ashamed of, amigo. Right. Anyway, um... Uh, when he found out I was taking it easy on him, he, he walked off. Well, can you blame him? Dude, you'd do the same thing. This is my friend. It sounds to me like... you've both been playing for all the wrong reasons. What? You know, I always thought basketball was about winning. <laughs> Not the way I see it, dude. It's about the time spent playing the game. In a few years, you're not gonna remember the score or who won or lost, but what you will remember is playing b-ball with the old man. And that's the only real win. Think about it. I gotta go build some props. It's never about winning. Hey, Sheriff. Hello, Jules. How's the auction coming? Looks like it's gonna be a hit. But there's still one very stubborn civic leader who hasn't agreed to participate. How about, uh, I just donate $25. It's probably twice what I'd bring in. Are you kidding? Good-looking man in uniform. Former football star, former disco king at the senior prom. <laughs> 
Yeah, well, the key word there is formal. Okay. All of this is because Jet beat you at some basketball game? Jules, you don't understand. Jet and I played again this morning, and this time he was letting me win. What's that all about? Well, since you're asking, that's about Jet trying to tell you how much he loves you by making you feel better. And if you started acting your 40 years of age, you might have seen it. <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? What? Stand by for support. Blue unit, seal off the north, south, east, and west corridors. Red unit, go, go, go! Awaiting notification. Yes! All units stand down and return to base. Silverstone? I leave you in charge and you take a nap. Nap. Do you have any idea what I've just been through? There was a perimeter breach in Sector 7. I sent in DEFCON units 4, 5, and 8, air support and a decontamination unit. Then I sent in a zebra unit to seal off all entrances and exits. And then I sent in the red unit. Red unit? Red unit. And I'm happy to report that Sector 7 is now status quo. You didn't need red unit. I didn't need it. Is that all you can say? I've just spent the past two hours under the most intense pressure I've ever faced, knowing that one wrong decision and innocent people could lose their lives. This is what I do every day, Silverstone. You do. But if it makes you feel any better, nice job. It does. Thanks. You're welcome to take over for me tomorrow if you'd like. No thanks. I think I'll stick to my usual dangerous, potentially deadly, save the world assignments. It's less stressful. Hey, Dad. Oh, hi, Jet. I was just making myself a sandwich. You want one? Nah, I'm good. Look, about the game this morning. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. Thanks. I'm, I'm the one who needs to uh, apologize. No. Uh, I played hard against you your entire life. Hoping that, that you'd learn, hoping that one day you, you, you'd be better than me. When that day came, I, I just wasn't ready. I was acting like I was 39 going on two. <laughs> I'm sorry, son. Forgive me. Ha, 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 ha. 
Nasty. Ooh. Hey, Mayor Beal, that was quite some split you did. That wasn't a split, Jedi Slip, that's all. <laughs> do you see those women out there bidding on me? I brought in $200. <laughs> By the way, Juice, who's the lucky lady that won my services for an entire day? <laughs> uh, that would be Mrs. Beal. Mm. My wife? I'm not sure which one hurts more. <laughs> Gotta sit down. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Well, you... <laughs> I mean, $200 wasn't bad after all. <laughs> ow, oh, oh, ow, oh, oh. Maybe we should get some Oh, no, there. I'm all right. You just go on there. You're busy. You Jules? just. Wow. You look. You look great. Got room for a 30 night? 40? You're all out there? You better believe it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Sheriff Wood Jackson! Fishing. Yeah. <laughs> fishing. I bet I catch a bigger fish than you. <laughs> 